there, I hope that you're having a great day. My name is Kelly, welcome to FAQ Friday. So I'm coming on here today to talk to you about crystals. So a lot of people say, how do I know which crystals are the right ones for me? So basically whatever you're drawn to. So go into a metaphysical shop and, and just take a look around and see anything that you're particularly drawn to. You're gonna be drawn to it for a reason. A lot of places also have a little write out that's three or four lines that tells you, you know, this is good for X, Y, and Z. And so, you know, you can choose it that way as well. Um, although ideally, when the intellect gets into play, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's choosing what you um, truly need, it's more what you think you need, which isn't always the same thing. So then once you've determined which crystal you like, uh, or which type of crystal you like, then some people say, well, how do I choose which of those crystals is right for me? There's a bowl of a dozen, you know, which one's mine? So what I do is uh, I go through and say, for example, this is rose quartz. And so this is tumbled rose quartz. So um, basically what I'll do, I'm left-handed, so I'll put it in my dominant hand, my left hand, I'll hold on to it and um, basically kind of, I like to close my eyes and I'll feel, does it feel warmer? Does it feel cooler? Does it tingle or vibrate? Do I feel any sensations in my hand as I'm doing that? And then I'll move to another one. So I'd switch it out, put another one in. Does this uh, crystal, you know, experience any sensations? And if you have a bowl of a dozen of them and you've narrowed it down to say three that you're unsure of, then I would go back through those three and then one at a time, um, you know, break it down to which one is the right one for you and uh, choose that one. And as far as crystals go, uh, they're all, um, you know, wonderful and beautiful and they're, they're great for a number of different types of healings. And uh, a lot of crystals are good for multiple different types of healings. And many crystals are good for the same thing. Sometimes it depends on the other elements of whatever it is that you're dealing with. And then to let you know what it's good for, there's, this is the Crystal Bible. This is volume one. I also have volume two. There's volume three. And you can go through and basically it'll just kind of tell you, um, you know, what the crystal is, where you can find it, which chakras it works with, yada, yada, yada. And it gives you some details as to what that's good for. So hope that helps you in your crystal shopping. And uh, the one that I had, Rose Quartz, is all about unconditional love, joy, happiness, gentleness, kindness, but specifically self-love. Since for a lot of us, it's easier to love everyone else and maybe not so, uh, not quite as easy to love ourselves. So that's a, a really popular one as well for anything to do with the heart. But much love from me, Kelly, and Reiki Releases. I hope you have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend. And hope this has uh, uh, helped your answer, or excuse me, helped your questions um, about crystals and if you want to click the link below it'll take you to my website which gives you even more information about crystals and how they form and a whole lot of different information but uh, this is just the Coles Notes version if you will so anyway all the best much love take care talk soon bye bye